Hey guys, Axel Fireflurry here, here to bring the second video that I had promised from my previous video. If you had seen my last video about why my channel is the way it is and why I do what I do, then you'll have a somewhat of an understanding or you could have just read the title of this video and get somewhat of an idea about what this video is about, but besides the point. This video is why I'm making, well, why I've made Verlicify videos and why they're the way they are. And before you hit that dislike, com that dislike button, leave a whole bunch of angry comments about how I'm just hate Verlicify and want to just ruin him to get subs and views and what have you, that's not, not even close, actually. Uh, so this is not an attack video. This is just why I made the decision to make these videos. So here we go. So if you go back early into my channel, you'll see that I actually have a video, one or two videos actually supporting Verlicify against Smogon and Pokemon Showdown. Big surprise. The reason those videos exist and why they're still up is a very simple one. That was the time I was taking competitive Pokemon seriously. Like, I was playing competitive Pokemon, but it wasn't serious. It was casually competitive for me. I mean, I'm still like that. I'm just slightly more competitive now. And if it's one thing I hate is when people tell me, don't use that Pokemon or don't use that moveset, it's fucking trash. Like, I hate it when people tell me how to play my goddamn game. You didn't buy it for me, it's not your game, don't tell me how to play it, okay? So fuck you. And Verlicify comes up with unique strategies. I don't agree with a lot of them, but they're unique. So obviously I'm gonna be drawn to it. Obviously, I'm going to see what he has to offer because it's something different. It's a different playstyle. It's a different opinion. I love different opinions. I love various viewpoints on a um, subject. So, I watched it. This happened to be around the time when Smogon was making a lot of bans from OU to Uber. And he started making a whole bunch of anti-Smogon videos and started calling him stupid and stuff like that. And he was attacked by the hardcore Smogon players or and even some civil Smogon players. And if it's one thing I cannot stand, it's when somebody's being bullied. If I see someone being bullied, I'm going to do all the research I can and I'm going to stick up for the victim. No matter what the situation is. Okay? Like, if there's enough evidence from what I can gather that that person is actually a victim and is being picked on for no real reason, then I'm going to try to stick up for him. Yeah, those are his opinions. He does not agree with the bad hammers that come down. That's his opinion. He's welcome to it. I'm not going to say he's a terrible person for it. I don't agree with them, but they're his and he's welcome to them. My problem with that is he has the mindset from what I've seen that it's either his way of thinking or you're a fucking moron who deserves to die. That's a pretty severe thing that I just said and I'm going to elaborate on that right now. Time went on and he had posted on Twitter can't even remember what had led up to that situation, but he told someone to drink base liquids. No one is going to immediately assume what he said was, oh, I meant egg whites. Anyone is going to immediately assume something harmful that can kill them. Bleach, uh, cleaners, or something that's, you know, harmful, that will hurt and kill you. That's when I started having problems with the guy. I deal with depression, I deal with suicide, I've lost friends to suicide, I've had to 
pull razor blades out of friends' hands because they tried to cut themselves, and I've had to cut people out of trees because they tried to hang themselves, and had to rush people to the hospital and call 911 for people who tried to overdose. So when you tell someone that they should drink base liquids, I would have a fucking problem with that. And it tried, that drove me insane because I'm like, dude, you were a decent guy. What the fuck? Just because this person doesn't agree with you, it doesn't mean you should go off and be a bit of a jerk. I apologize if I'm doing this. Um, if you guys watched my last video, I talked about the cat who's really, really needy for attention. So I'm trying to pay attention to him while recording this video, and it's kind of really, really hard. So actually, I'm going to zoom up really fast. Say hi to the cat. But, and that was kind of discouraging because I was like, dude, you were doing so good. What, what is this? Just because this group is a bunch of jerks or there's a bunch of jerks doesn't mean you should go and attack them and around that same time I had realized that not everyone of the smog on a Pokemon community is absolutely bad and so I made my video that not everyone in smog on is bad because you know I had an encounter with some people from the community who were just assholes and after that I stopped watching Verlicify uh, regularly because I wanted not a whole lot to do with it. I wanted to just leave him be. And he made an apology video, and unfortunately he took it down because it things really got out of hand at that point in time. And, like, it's... Things got messy. I don't think things ever really officially blew over. Like, it's kind of crazy. And he made an apology video, said that he had done some stupid things, said some stupid things. And I'm like, okay, this is good. This is awesome. I like this. Thank you. You're being the bigger person. Congratulations. Good on you, mate. And he took down the video. He took down the one video that shows that he's trying to be a decent civil human being. And I'm just like... For the love of God, why? And some point, I want to say at some point last year, he started going on his VGC witch hunt. And I believe it started with the current VGC champion, Wolf Blick, and his Love Ball Raichu. For starters, that was an unofficial tournament, okay? Hosted by a group that openly talks about hacking and is pretty much pro-hacking. And Verlicify makes a video saying that Wolf Blake is a dirty cheater going into a tournament with a hacked Pokemon. Verlicify, it was a video or of an unofficial tournament hosted by a group that supports hacking. You're going to run into that, okay? That's going to happen. It's just, it's like going to a beehive and surprised to see bees. I've never seen Wolf Glick or any, like any YouTuber, Poketuber that I watch go into an official tournament with hacked Pokemon and good on you because I'm pro-hacking, okay? I'm actually, I'm pro-choice. If you hack, that's awesome. That's, that's your business. Just do not take it into an official tournament and tell your opponents anywhere else that you're, if your team has any hacked Pokemon. If you're pro-breeding, good on you for playing the game legitimately and, you know, breeding. It takes time. I do both. I... Gen more than I breed competitive Pokemon, but I do breed, it's just not very often. Because if you saw my last video, I just have tons and tons of other things going on in my life. Uh, two of my sources of income is photography and costuming for people. 
I charge fifty dollars an hour. And for those of you who's like, oh, that's so expensive, and guys, I'm so sorry, but like the cat fur is like coming up, and I just can't help but scratch. I was like, oh, that's so expensive, and you shouldn't charge that much. I'm like, first of all, that is cheap, because here's what you have to take into consideration. The time traveling to the destination where most of my human subjects live about 45 minutes away from me. I don't start charging until I until the photo shoot starts. So from the time I pull out my camera and they see my camera, that's when it officially starts. So transportation, so if we have to drive to various locations, that is on the clock. And then most of your time, if you're a photographer, you know, is going to be in editing. But when I work with cosplayers who want to be models and want to have a big portfolio so they can eventually become models, I'm looking at about six or seven hours minimum. And I'm not going to lose a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollars for this, to play this for a little bit, to hatch two, maybe three competitive Pokemon. I'm not going to lose money to play a game. I'm sorry. I'm not. Or the costuming. I'm a high-end costumer. My cheaper costumes go five, seven hundred dollars. That takes time. I'm not gonna lose out on a couple hundred dollars for fucking data on a video game. I'm not. I'm gonna make that money to support myself, to pay my bills, so I can buy the new Pokemon games. Like, think about this. I'm not gonna go into any tournaments. I mean, I have legitimate teams. I even have separate boxes for gen teams and legitimate teams. But, like, actual legit, legit teams. Like, Pokemon, the parents were caught in the wild with legitimate balls, bred, EV trained, and all that good stuff. And then I have my hacks. But, anyway. So, I'm, I'm both. And Verlicify went on, like, this huge rampaged calling out a ton of really big youtuber names with no in my opinion real evidence to support his claims which is why i made the trump video was the reason it's titled the trump of pokemon go is okay i'm about to get a little political i'm not a trump supporter i'm not a hillary supporter either i voted third party because the two-party systems become corrupted and it just needs to be done away with and go back to Washington's time where you selected various people from various political parties and different opinions instead of just the two major parties. I look just like the bunch of littler parties. But anyway, but in my opinion, Trump is a guy who says one thing, does another, and doesn't do enough research or enough evidence to really support what the fuck he's talking about. And that's kind of where I feel like Verlicify gets at some points of his videos. Like, he's making all these claims. Like, compare and contrast. Oh, Muslims are here to kill all Americans and stuff like that because they're supposed to hate us. Um, I have at least four Muslim friends, and they do not hate America. They came here legally. And, no, those are the extremists. And then you have Verlicify, who's like, oh, well, they're big name players, and they're cheaters, because there's, like, this weird Illuminati Pokemon going on, but there's nothing to support that. Yeah, they're all friends, because, well, what happens when you, you know, run into people at tournaments? You eventually make friends. So that's why I made that Trump video, is because he makes all these points calling out these terrible, making these awful claims with little to no evidence and claims it to be fact. And now I'm like, okay, that's not okay. So now it's my turn to attack you like I attacked Smogon. Well, not really attack, but, you know, call you out on some nonsense. 
because I see that there's wrongdoing going on. I'm not just going to leave it in the comments because he blocks comments he doesn't like and he blocked me on Twitter. So this is me getting my opinion and my voice out on the subject. I don't condone cheating in official tournaments. I do not. But if somebody cheats again, that's just them. And Pokemon, the Pokemon company is doing everything in their power to get rid of hacking. Nobody made him the official judge on hacking and like the voice of the Pokemon community or the Pokemon company, not community. And uh, the reason in my Verlicify videos I don't pull up screenshots and stuff like that is a part of it is because of a time crunch because of how my schedule is, but it's also because there are 20, 25 other videos who are that are covering the exact same situations that I am, like Verlicify versus Wolf Glick or Verlicify versus Shofu. Not like Pokemon Battle, but like arguing on the Pokemon game itself. And they supply the evidence. So there are tons of other videos that are doing it so you can get the same evidence there. So I don't feel like, at least to me, it's really needed because there are bigger YouTubers out there that you're gonna watch first about the subject before you come to mind. So by the time you come to mind, you already have an understanding on what the situation is. If you don't, leave it in the comment section. Ask me a question. But it's not out of I have lack of evidence, it's I don't feel like I need to present it because it's been presented before me. So there's that. And I thought I had more to say on the matter, but guys, I don't hate Verlicify. I would never wish him ill will, but I will say this. He does need to calm down. He does need to do... A, he just needs to be a friendlier person all around. And he, that's really it. He just needs to, to just back off a little bit, all right? Make videos that you're actually going to be happy with, okay? That's just my opinion. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I apologize that this video is what it is. Actually, I don't apologize that it is what it is when it comes to like what it's about, but maybe I could have gotten some points across a little bit better, but guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Um, go back and watch some of my older videos and you'll be able to tell that I've at least made some progress in my content creating, but that's neither here nor there. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.